So, but uh, again. I think we're done with the uh, play. Beta the, Pro. Yeah, the Beta Pro section over here. We're actually going to get into the tournament now. We, we got the four man bracket featuring JB, Nephew, Knuckle Dew, and 801 Strider. And up first, we got. Uh, we got Knuckle Dude and JB, who we both just saw oh, right dang. now. You know, <laughs> they, at least I got the warm up games. You know, no, yeah, that, that was good. I wish I got that yesterday. Shout out to Idom, you hogging the, the setup. You know, it's all good. Did you see that he played them the whole time? I was like, bro, like one, one game. Let me do it. Someone, someone's up here is very bitter right now. <laughs> what, what's next over here? Uh, <laughs> uh, but as you can see here, Knuckle Dude. God, he's 26. 26 still, oh, yeah, 26. God. So still, still a baby here, but you know, know, he is a family man. He likes now. to say, "I'm old, old my back." You should understand how we feel, dude. <laughs> Whatever oh, you feel man. times let two. Me, let me well, he has a kid, bro. I can't yeah, even. Yeah, it's true. Right, let, me, true. let me back up here. He's got two, <laughs> he got two kids. This, this, this oh, man. Amazing. Truly has taken on what Guile is. He's a family man. Yes, you know, exactly. Literally went exactly. home to be a family man. Does he have a daughter? Did he name her Amy? Like, I feel like he that's He named kinda... her after Mika. Mika? Oh, God bless that child. Okay. <laughs> okay. At least we know she's got the mix-ups, right? Got the mix. And that's she's going to have a best friend in Deshko for life, right? Be, so... <laughs> maybe the best friend's the, the other daughter, right? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Oh, man. But JB, like I said, interesting story here. Really showed up to NLBC and was just dominating right away. I mean, in the hardest area to win, right? With I think that's like, when like Smug and Punk were all out there. Shine, I don't too. Yeah, Shine. Yeah, uh, all those guys out there. So, and then he moved over to the West Coast and was doing really well at Wednesday. Very dominant as there well. too, as yeah. well. You know, I I feel like when he was at NLBC, he was probably like a top five, top four consistent placer. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. when he came to you know WNF, we could give him you know the business here and there, but he was generally getting first, second, like almost every yeah, week. So. Yeah. So what's up, man? What's up? I beat. Hey, I beat him sometimes. You know. I <laughs> I'm carrying my weight, okay? Like, I'm, in, I'm injured too. What are you doing? What's <laughs> Like what the? Oh man! We, we need. We just need Chris CCH to leave Seattle. Just come, come, yeah, to, yeah, come yeah, to SoCal, know, bro. Right, right. We, we need you. Oh, but here we go. It's Knuckle Dew and JB again. Knuckle Dew, the first, <laughs> the first Capcom Cup Street Fighter V champion. Knuckle Dew Day. Knuckle Going up Dude against Dang. JB over here. Very little has to be said about Knuckle Dew, but as you can see right here, starting off with the classic Guile zoning. JB, I will say another one of his specialties besides his rushdown is how good he is at breaking down characters and understanding matchups. Most characters, most people I've seen against Guile that just walk and block, he started off parry. And look, his drive meter is very high. Well, interestingly enough, I think they changed it so that... Oh, oh yeah, you're not going to... He was trying to go through a Sonic Boom. He wasn't trying to catch him by surprise. He, yeah, he, he saw to... him like walking back. He thought the fireball yeah. was coming, right? That's kind of uh, something you have to do against Kyle. You have to either jump or drive impact. You have to guess. But I think in the second beta, they made it so that if you drive parry a projectile, you're, you're, at, you're at a net zero. You're at a net zero? Oh, yeah. if you drive impact? I'm sorry, if you drive parry the, the projectile, because oh. they, they didn't want you to be able to... Oh, because they want a difference between perfect parry, right? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, they, and they want, again, they want projectiles to be strong in this game, you know? They do. I think having that zero is pretty good, because all the uh, normals are four frames, right? Like, the fastest mm -hmm. normal is four frames, right? Dude, I'm telling you right now, too, that, uh, you know, with projectiles being good, I just know guys like Zafarino is like, please bring back Sagat now. <laughs> let's, let's not do that, you know. We already got Guile. Just learn how to charge Zaf, you know. Let's... Oh, man. Oh, God, man, that's that brutal. Oh, oh, nice punish, though. Yeah. And, and another thing, great thing for us, you know. Oh, wow, look how much he got back. That was crazy. So much drive meter. I like this display of parry he's using, but do... You see how whenever he parries it... He doesn't gain any Oh, that's extra. what you mean. It's yeah. net zero, uh, it's on, net the, zero the on the drive the gauge. gauge. Yeah. Gauge. It drains half, and then it builds half back. So that's all it gets. Uh, oh, he's boy. Trying to draw, he's going to try to chip him. Yeah, he's trying to gray nice him out. Nice parries, but, though, JB. But see, that time, it only cost one to drain it down, but then he parried four of them, so he did get a plus. Oh, he did. He did get a net positive that time. So, so. If there's enough consecutive uh, parries. I mean, yeah. Man, you know, JB, he had the right idea, but dude, he's very good at altering his timings, like with the booms. Like you have, for those you don't know in chat or in the crowd, there are you can do like a light, medium, or heavy fireball. It changes the speed. So dude started doing some light ones to throw him off. It, it's 
I hate that. It's just so hard to deal with the, the boom game, man. I remember uh, talking to somebody on my stream one time. You know, they were. I was trying to teach them the projectile game, and yeah, when you play a character first time, you're like, well, heavy is the fastest one, so clearly this well, is the only one that. that I should throw. But man, use, switching between all three speeds is so important. The light one gives you more time to react, but allows the player to advance from full screen. The heavy one locks them down full screen better, but if they jump over it, you can't do anything about it as easily. Like, there's so much subtlety in the projectile game that a lot of times when you watch someone like Knuckle do throwing Sonic Booms, you're like, this is just, oh, it's so easy. Just spam Sonic Booms. I know. And it's not like that at all. And, like, I also think in 5, uh, especially with, like, a Ryu, for instance, it was kind of hard to differentiate how slow a fireball would be, how the usage of it. But in here, you can clearly see how slow the boom is. Like, it's worth yeah. mixing the timings up. This is good because if Dew is in that state or Guile, uh, he, if he gets him in the burnout, it's just GG. You lose yeah. like 40% of your chip if you block those booms. And you see whenever JB got close, that's when Knuckle Dew would start throwing the light sonic boom so he had the time to react with the anti-air. But nice jump from JB trying to get in here with this you know pressure. What, you know what's funny is Dew's blocking them because he's assuming he should be getting jumped in on cleaning, but oh, <laughs> not this guy already. Ooh, here we go. Gets the hit, gets the combo, and there's the anti-air, and that's yeah. a trade that every guy will take for their entire lives, trading with that crouching heavy punch. 100%. Drive rushes this in with the just, low, and now the overhead. brutal, dude. I don't think anyone wanted to play Knuckle Dude, man. This yeah. character is just a beast. Good stuff to do. Yeah. AB, you know, put a lot of uh, good display on the, the parry. I like the ideas. It's just this character is a little, <laughs> a little, and he's a little looking at Capcom. Just, you know, a little, little looky. Yeah, one of the one of the interesting things, like we'll see this coming up here, but you know, I played, uh, I've ran into Nephew a couple of times during the betas mm -hmm. out there, and you saw at the end right there how Knuckle Dude had the drive rushes, and he went.